Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is for you, and welcome to a loot from video with the sulfur no with the sulfur nagua. This is RuneScape's newest monster added in the Perilous Moons dungeon, and my god, it's incredible. But more of that to come. Let's get into the video. So when you first come into Perilous Moons or Moons of Peril or whatever you want to call it, if you head straight to the left this will actually take you directly to where the sulfur naguas are if you just come through here run round there's no point praying here because as they hit you they actually knock your prayer out so the best thing you can do is bring just defensive gear and for the first 10 minutes you're here these creatures will just auto aggro to you so if you just pot up straight away my god things are gonna go great for you so I'm currently running a Darox plate body, Darox plate legs, and then a melee setup. So I'm going to try and be as efficient as I can. I'm hoping to like be able to sustain here for the whole 10 minutes. And then, and straight away, you can see why this is such a great spot. 46 death runes as a drop. That's nearly 10k as a drop. But that's, that's not the best thing about these. The best thing about these is the entire drop table. So as this is going on in the background, I'm just going to explain to you some of the drop table right now. The amount of resources these guys drop is incredible. I've already killed 260 of these while I was testing. And the fact that they drop iron ore, coal ore, silver ore, mithril ore, all as noted items is honestly incredible. Like being able to just sit here for 10 minutes, just killing them without even looking at the screen, you're getting insane XP rates, but you're getting all of your ores and resources noted. When you're getting 80,000 strength XP, and you're getting things that you can go and train other skills with. This is a no-brainer of somewhere to head, like, genuinely. But you can see, as they're attacking me, they have a special attack where my prayer has actually just been going down while I'm not praying. So you won't be able to sit here actually using piety or anything like that because your prayer will just run out so quickly. And I'm not kidding when I said the strength XP is like 80k plus an hour. I think the minimum I was getting was about 70k when I was running to the bank and coming back. But if you sit here just constantly, you can get 80 to 120k, depending on your setup. Because these things are also a Slayer monster, which is incredible. Because then you can combine the Slayer Helm and you can just start You can start going ham. That's the extra 15% bonus on top. But the best thing about these, the best absolute top thing about these are actually the weapon that they drop. Because... You can see that they're attacking me, and every attack they're getting two splashes on me. It's because they have this dual blade called the Sulfur Blades, and these things hit like a truck. They're currently valued, if I look, if I check on the live price tracker, these things are valued at about 650k while I'm recording this, which is a mental number to think about. It has been coming down the past few days, it's dropped from about a mil down to about 600k. You could be making some serious money here, if people stop killing these, and just start doing perilous moons you could be in with getting some insane money genuinely like i think i figured it out as like it could be anywhere up to like 500k an hour if you're getting the weapons on drop rate and you're obviously picking up all the resources which i'm not because i'm only taking things that i need but i do have my loot tracker going and i will tell you once we've got to a thousand kills exactly what the loot would be and just like that i've actually just managed to get 85 strength and 100 combat very nice. I can now use Duradel next time I go to the Slayer Tower. Slayer Tower, Slayer Master. And with this kill, that is the inventory empty. We are ready to go and bank. So let me show you what my process is. I'm just going to head out now because I'm going to die otherwise. So I have this 30 Sulfurous Essence. And if you actually leave and go back into Camtorum, it does get deleted out of your inventory. So I do recommend before going out and before banking, you actually head through to the loot room and you'll be able to trade this in for your runecrafting XP. Spoiler alert, I actually changed my method about 750 kills on how I re-geared for this, so I stopped going back to the bank, and I actually realized if I come through here, over here, I can run through to the rewards room from here. You can hand in your phosphorus essence, I think it's called, and you can hand it in to this woman and then just run straight through, and it takes you directly to where you can make the bream and the potions that you need. But once you get in here, you can just run over here, grab your fishing supplies, grab your herb lore supplies, and you can actually crack on from there. You don't need to go back to the bank at all. Back to you, recording, Dan. If you do intend on fishing the bream here, which is what I'm going to do, all you have to do is over here, right-click and take your fishing supplies. 
and head back to the bridge and you can start catching your bream. And what some people don't actually realize on this is if you start in the fishing point, if you move your net into the places where the bream is, you can actually catch the bream at a faster rate. Oh, just don't click to exit the fishing spot. So do it on these three tiles ahead of the fishing spot. And you can actually catch the bream faster. And this way, you can actually improve your rates of catching the bream. And then rather than sitting here AFK for like three minutes, you can AFK for like one minute. So there we go. I'm all full of bream now. So if I go and cook over, hi over here, because I'm 84 hit points, these actually heal me for, I think it's like 27 HP per bream, as opposed to the 22 from Karam. So doing this, you're just going to last for longer. So now I'm going to head back over here. I'll check the XP rate. So what's my strength on now? So I am down to 71k an hour at the minute. But if I head back in here now and carry on smacking things, it's going to go up again. I forgot to cook a cup of tea on my way back. The one disadvantage of killing these though and not banking is that you don't get your pots. So obviously you're not going to be hitting as hard if you do it this way. But I'm, I'm feeling relaxed right now. And there we go. There is the money. Let's go. We have achieved basically what this video was set out to be. It was set out to be a getting the sulfur blades. Hopefully we can get another set because this is money. If I examine these right now, it currently says the GE average is 634. However, on the live prices, which you can get if you go onto the wiki underneath the right hand side underneath the actual prices it has a view real time prices button and if you click that it'll actually show you like the most recent sales of the sulfur blades and for me that's that is actually showing about 640k at the minute so this is kind of accurate but the price is fluctuating so much that these could be these could be 900k tomorrow if people aren't farming them but if I put these on right now, let's have a little experiment and see how well we're doing. I'm getting double hits and you can see that I'm hitting like 26. That's a 30. That's a 24. I'm consistently hitting. And what's more is not only am I consistently hitting, I'm hitting faster than the zombie axe, but doing zombie axe levels of damage. However, I just can't use the rune defender. But that is the end of another trip. So let's head back and bank. We're currently at, so I got those around KC 430, but the drop rate is actually 1 in 500. So we did get them under 8, which is good. And hopefully we can get another set before the end of the video. And there you can see it says the resources from Napot's all fizzle to dust as they're severed from its magic. So that was actually the sulfuric acid essence or whatever it's called, the sulfurous essence. That was it leaving my inventory because I left the area. So now I'm all rebanked up, let's head on back in and carry on and get up to our 1000. I'll give you an update at about 500 showing you the price check because that's the drop rate of the blades. So that's what you can expect when you get them on rate. What I'm actually going to do to test how good these are is so my strength XP was about 70,000. They're about um, per hour while I was using the zombie axe. If I reset the per hour on that now, I'm actually going to test how high this goes because Something tells me that these blades may be like a little bit more efficient against these sulfur naguas, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And there we go. That was a double max hit of 1717, which is a 34, which is insane. Considering it's doing it in two attacks, I think that's really good. And the XP rate that we're getting at the minute is currently over 90k. I was up at 100k at the start, but as my pots are wearing off, I'm starting to get a little bit lower. But that's still insane. Like, if I repot up now, I'll see if that goes back up to 100k. And we are currently at the 500k C mark, halfway through the thousand that we're going for this in this video. So let me just quickly show what the loot is looking like currently. And there it is. We are currently up to 500 sulfur naguas dead. We've made 1.2 million GP. This has probably taken me, I want to say, like four hours because I was using the zombie axe as well but I am noticing a, a much faster kill rate with the actual sulfur blades, which does make up half our money. So if I toggle this off right now, if you go dry for the 500, because this 500 is estimated to be about the drop rate for them at the minute, if you go dry for them, you're still going to be making over like 1k per kill. And if, if I'm getting like three or four kills per minute, you're making three or four k a minute. So 
it's it's going pretty well and that does work out to be just under 1.2k per kill 120k per 100 kills if you ask me a really good money maker considering that i'm actually here for the strength xp because if i turn this on i've been out of the room for a little bit now so i could set up this scene and i'm still at like 80k xp right now this was fluctuating around the 90k mark earlier and obviously now we're coming down to about 80k but i would say this is like one of the if not the best strength xp methods while making a huge profit if you go lucky on these sulfur blades you could be pulling in a lot of money very quickly but let's go bank and i will carry on with the thousand kills and i'll give you an update while we're going i also just ran out with the sulfurous essence in my inventory again and lost all that xp damn it that's one thing to keep an eye out i do notice i keep doing that and we're currently at 725 kc i've just come back from being i want to say afk i was asleep so i'm back for the last 275 kc and I was laying in bed last night and I realized I can do this much more efficiently. Why am I not using the, uh, what are they called? The moonlight potions that you can also make. When I go and get the fish, I just make my potions there. So I actually don't need to bank at all. I know I have just banked, but it's because I went to bed. So I just went to the bank and put everything in the bank. And I woke up and I was like, wait, I can just use these potions and these fish. So when I explained earlier about the banking and everything, that is one way you can do it. This is another way. You just make your potions and your fish. And then you don't need to do anything. It's like entirely self-sufficient in here. So every GP that you make is your GP. And what's better than not being taxed? I didn't realize how cool this entrance actually was. But this is just the clip to say we have 117 left. So just over 100 to go. Let's go smash them out. And then we can do a loot breakdown. Fingers crossed we do not go dry on another set of blades. And we can get them before this finishes because yeah the last set was 430 so i think we're coming up to the rate of getting a second set now one thing i hadn't actually noticed but i'm, I'm noticing now like right towards the end of this video these blades actually go with barrow's armor so nicely like they just fit aesthetically really well and with this we have 50 more to go and i'm starting to get a bit worried that we're not going to get the second set of sulfur blades oh gold and there is 74 defense coming in very nice indeed and we're coming up to our last four kills now this has actually been a really fun grind i've actually really enjoyed this i was hoping to get a second set of sulfur blades because the rate is about one in 500 and we're going to have killed a thousand so i was hoping to have two sets get lucky and get two sets under rate however it hasn't quite worked out that way apparently unless i get one in the next three kills but it's genuinely been really enjoyable for a really good xp rate and also getting money because you will not believe how much i've actually got from these things like i will show it at the end once we've killed all a thousand so the amount that we've earned is it it's more than i expected honestly I, I did not expect it and here we go you can see the loot tracker is at 999 it's time to kill our last one and it shall be you just going to quickly hand in my Sulfurous Essence to get my free runecrafting XP. There's another 2k, very nice indeed. And let's have a loot breakdown. So as you can see from the loot tracker, a thousand Sulfur Naguas are dead. We did manage to get our hands on the Sulfur Blades, which is incredible. Those are currently valued at about 625,000 GP, which is not too shabby if you ask me for a five, uh, 1 in 500 drop. And this has taken me probably like maybe five to six hours to do. I would say that's like a, a fair enough cost. That's about 100k an hour. And I, I've killed enough that I should be on drop rate for two of them. So that's really like about 200k an hour on top of the other loot that we got. And as you can see, the total value is 1.83 million. So if we take off the 625k for the blades, we'll say 630 that leaves us with 1.2 million in loot that we managed to get during this video. I think I managed to hit the rare drop table five times because I got three nature talismans and two teeth half of keys. Nature talismans seem to be the only thing that I can hit on the rare drop table, which is really annoying because I would love that shield left half. But we also got 251 phosphorus essence, which actually trades in for 50 runecrafting per essence. So if I do the maths, that is... 12 and a half k runecrafting xp 
while I'm getting like 90k strength XP or 85k defense XP. Absolutely insane XP rates from killing these things. If you can get your hands on the Sulfur Blades, I would highly recommend this. It's self-sustainable, as I've shown in the video. You make lots of money, as I've shown in the video. You have a great time, as I've shown in the video. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see me kill next in one of these loot from videos. Anything in Gillanor that I can do, let me know and I will get on it. But for now, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've watched this far because obviously you've enjoyed the video. Drop a like and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.